Hey there survivors, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In this video I'm going to share 9 hidden base locations on Extinction aimed mainly at solo players or small tribes. All work on official settings as always, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so this first location is around 4659, and it's on top of one of the buildings in the city. And it's probably the least hidden base location on the list. But I've had a couple of startup bases here, and they've lasted a couple of weeks at least, so I thought it was a good one to include, as it seems to be in a relatively low traffic area, even though it will be found because of the opening. So you've got a good amount of room in here to start off with anyway. As you can see, I've put about as many foundations as I can, and as you can see, there's these restrictions. You can't really place anything outside there, and you've got to kind of consider that boundary for placing the walls as well. Up this ramp just leads to a little crouch spot that you can kind of get through. It's not bad for just having a little look around. Being in the middle of the city, obviously you've got easy access to cement and paste and other basic resources. There's metal just on top of this next building over here as well, so that really helps to get set up in early game. There's also a little gap over here which you could probably store some stuff in if you wanted to utilise it, but you can't build anything down here and it doesn't open up to get any bigger either unfortunately and you can't even place any uh, triangle foundations or pillars to make a ladder up, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Right, on to the next base location. Alright, so this next location's around 2722, and it's basically in the leaning blue obelisk in the sunken forest area. And again, I'd say this is more of a uh, starter base location, just to get some stuff set up, but you have got a good bit of room in there for a few things. It's completely out of the line of sight from people just flying past unless they go practically up to the gap. But it's in quite a good starter location as well, close to a lot of cement in paste and there's metal and obviously loads of basic resources around here. And there's even enough room in here if you just wanted to do some basic breeding with some small dinos as well. Right, anyway, let's move on to the next base location. Okay, this next location's around 20.618.3. And it's in the big tower that you can see when you're going into the sunken forest area from above. And as you can see, there's a lot of room in here. It is quite a well-known location, and a lot of people will probably scout this when they go past it. So if you're going to build in here, you'll want to get it well defended pretty quickly. But you've got a lot of building room in there. You could quite easily make it a main base location. The main disadvantage is just the size and the easy access of the entrance hole. But because it is out of line of sight, people who actually don't look into it really won't see you at all in there. But I definitely thought this was worth a mention as it's still a pretty good base location. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this next spot's around 21.78.32-ish. And it's in like this weird metal rib coming out of uh, the wall. And you just basically go to the bottom and there's a little gap. And there's a little spot that you can get in through on the other side as well. So this is another one of those base locations that you won't want to stay in for that long. Or if you do, you definitely don't want to keep this as just your main base location, If even if you want to just keep it small. Just because it's going to be easy to raid. It's going to be hard to cover this place with turrets, because people are just going to be able to rocket raid it however you place the turrets, really. But to start off, say on an arc park or small tribes or something, it's a pretty good location for getting cement in paste and some metal and some other basic resources on the go. And yeah, just having a fly around so uh, you can see some of the surroundings so you know what you're looking for, because it is quite hard to distinguish some of these ribs and trees from each other, really. Right, let's move on to the next base location anyway. Right, this next spot is kind of in one of these rib things again, but you've got a bit more room in this one, and it's a bit better hidden as well. So this is around 17.518-ish, and you basically go in through the top of this one. So you're like looking for that cliff with the ribs hugging it, really. But I'll just show you some of the surroundings so you kind of know the area as well. And then you just drop in through the top of this little bit, and then there's a little overhang here which just keeps you lovely and covered. So you'll definitely want some turrets poking upwards. But it should be out of the line of sight from most people really. And I'll just demolish these ramps just to show you just some of the room down here basically. But you can utilise all of this, there's going to be a good bit of space to breed some small dinos. And to craft most of the stuff that you'd need for early game really. 
So yeah, I think that would make another good little arc pock base location too. So that's 17.418, and let's move on to the next base location. Right, this next base location, I do actually have a little bit built here just because I actually had a base at this location on an extinction server a couple of months back. And this is around 11.129.1. And it's just in this little crack in the ceiling. It's quite a cheeky little spot that uh, didn't get scouted for a good couple of weeks. But I'll just show you how much room I've actually managed to build in here. So all that, plus there's this little floor here as well in between the two floors. So I quite a lot in here. And I'll just show you how to utilize it really, because it really doesn't look like you can get much up here at all. I was surprised I could get three decent floors of stuff, including vaults at the top, etc. So I'll just take the RG out, because you can fit RGs and Griffins up here. You can't fit a Wyvern. Well, I think you might be able to just about squeeze a Wyvern up there, but there's no way you'll be able to land it. But there's the coordinates and map location for it again anyway. And I'll just quickly show you how to find it, because it's quite easy to find, really, uh, when you know where you're going. So you've got the leaning blue obelisk, and you basically just fly the direction that it's leaning towards. And then you'll come to this area, you'll have like the massive tree roots on your right over there. And then you'll see that this rock that's basically directly in front of me, and it's the only one that's kind of not pointing in almost the same direction as most of the other ones, so it'll really stick out to your eye once you start coming up here a couple of times. And yeah, it's basically just up in this little crack then. Right, I've just demolished everything so I can actually show you what it looks like without any structures up there. Because it really doesn't look like you can do much with this when you sort of first come up here. But the trick is to just place a triangle foundation uh, towards the very top, really. You've got to kind of get it in the right place. If you can line it up with the walls, as you can see, it's quite a square area from above. And you can fit a good 2x2 two two as long as you place the triangle foundation right. And as you can see from the build that I just had a minute ago on it, uh, you can have a good sort of three or four walls high for your base and all the space on top for vaults and a couple of other things as well. So as you can see, my placement wasn't quite right on that one. The one ceiling was obstructed, but have a little play and you should be able to find the right spot with a little bit of experimentation. Okay, let's move on to the next base location. Okay, so this next location is around 10.728. And it's actually practically right next to the last base location I just showed you. But it's up on this little ledge. And as you can see, it's not the most hidden base location, but it's nice and tucked away unless people actually go up there. And it's really awkward to try and raid if you get it really well defended. So you'll want to plaster it with turrets and probably get a chandelier or two as well eventually. And get a bunch of fence supports up as well to stop people being able to just PT spin up there as there is like this little gap up here that people could possibly try and cheekily get around. <laughs> but as a base location, it's nice and flat to build on, and there's loads of room with no building restrictions. So you've got plenty of space for all your crafting stuff and all your breeding. I'm not sure if you can fit an indie forge up there. I didn't actually try when I was recording the footage. But still, really nice spot. Just have to make sure you defend it well. And this could easily be a main to hold a solo player or a small tribe. Okay, this next location's around 92.811.9, and it's right down the far corner of the wasteland. It's uh, quite strictly a cliff plat base, as you can't place foundations underneath the drop off of the edge of the world, unfortunately. But because it's so far away from the biomes and the city, not many people will be going over here, so it's a low traffic area. But people do scout off the edge of the world every now and again, so uh, just make sure it's well defended so it's not an easy raid if someone does find it. And there is a good few overhangs like this off the edge of the world that you could put a cliff plat underneath. I just thought I'd choose this one for the video specifically because it was furthest away from the biomes and the city. The other advantage with being this far out is that you can't place uh, foundations on any of these pieces of land so people couldn't fob up on you easily unless they make a cliff plat and cliff plats are pretty expensive so for big tribes no problem but for your regular little tribes looking to raid they're not going to make a cliff plat just to raid you. All right, let's move over to the final and most broken base location. All right, so this last base location is at the very far east of the city, basically, uh, next to this terminal. So a high traffic area, unfortunately. But if you just build one wall high up against this wall here, you've got a little gap here that you can actually zip line through. 
Now you've got to place the zip line in the right area. So what I'd advise is aim for that dark notch on the wall and just aim up almost towards the ceiling. And as long as the zip line's high enough, you should be able to snap it and ride it through. And there we go, I am through. Now obviously you'll want to protect that gap for your life, so you want to plaster as many turrets as you can around here and some velos. And you can build around here, but there is some restrictions just in this part as you can see. But as we head more towards this back area, the restrictions completely go away and you can literally basically build anywhere. <laughs> And this place is huge. You could have a mega tribe base here. You could literally do anything. There's only that one little entrance to get through as well for zip lining. So this base location is strictly one that you could only really transfer stuff to from another server. Um, and you'd probably want transmitter unlocked as well. So you could place a transmitter here to be able to actually get in and out. I have actually been in this location on an official server as well. One of my tribe mates actually started building a base in this location. Had tons of turrets at the entrance and it literally got raided the same night that he built it and the people spent about three hours literally like three in-game days just running the turrets constantly over and over and over and getting killed until they managed to get in it was quite insane so yeah if you're going to try and build on here on a small tribe server beware of that people are probably having a look in this place all the time but yeah this is definitely one of the most op spots on extinction i think especially for official and bosh, there we have it. So that was nine hidden base locations on Extinction. I hope there was a good variety of spots to suit different players' needs and space requirements. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe if you're new here. But apart from that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Peace.